Hi and welcome to Dreads UK. This is the A to Z of dreadlocks. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click the like button and get involved in the comments below for the conversation. And if you are a returning subscriber, you know we love you. Welcome back. So the A to Z of dreadlocks, we're going from A to Z. Uh, here's an example. S is for social distancing. As you can see, uh, my dreads help me uh, in maintaining social distance from people and it's way better. Disclaimer. This video holds a lot of opinions that don't necessarily stand with Dreads UK, nor are they all customers. We're just a group of dreadheads that believe that coming together in difficult times is very important. So this is the A to Z of dreadlocks. Yo, walk one, it's that guy. Hello, dreadlocks. Gemini Dixon here. This is Goldilocks Ninetail Fox from Peoria, Illinois. A for apple cider vinegar which is what keeps your dreadlocks clean. Beautiful. The reason I chose this word is because whenever anybody gets dreadlocks for the first time, they look at themselves and they're overcome with a feeling. I think the best way to describe that feeling is beautiful. My dreadlocks are beautiful. They have a mind of their own, a majority of the life that I've had them, but it's amazing how they have created themselves into being unique. Confidence. Confidence and dreadlocks go hand in hand for me. Since I got my dreadlocks, I think three years ago, my confidence has grown. But I wanted dreadlocks for years and years, but I thought like, how can I do it? Should I do it? And am I confident enough? Well, I was. And now I love my hair. I love my dreads. I have partial dreads and I keep adding more. So confidence and dreadlocks go hand in hand. D stands for dreadlocks. As you can see, dreadlocks. I am a dreadlocks man. You can see my head is dread growing naturally. And you see me, you see my dread define um, they do definitely define who you are and I think this guy E for entanglement because dreads are just knots upon knots and of entanglement and I kind of like the quantum aspect of entanglement and that kind of matching all dreads with all other dreads and there being a kind of identity between dreads with that non-locality in dreadlocks to me, dreadlocks represent freedom because I'm free from having to follow the herd and I can do whatever I want with my own life because I have the control and I have the freedom. Growth, because like the trees, everything needs its roots in order to grow. Growth, they go through a long process of maturing and growing and Definitely for myself, I grew as a person with my locks. I gained so much more confidence and was able to feel like I was my true self once I got dreads. Happiness. Um, it makes me happy when I see anyone wearing their dreadlocks as an expression of their true selves. Independence. When I think about dreads, I think about independence because it is something like freedom to me. I think almost everyone with dreads want to say something with it. And when I say dreadlocks, I say independence. Journey, because it takes a lot of time and patience for your dreads to grow to whatever goal length you might have. It takes a lot of time for them to truly lock up and mature on the inside. It's not something that can be accomplished in a couple of months. Um, it takes years. K is for knots, which is the base of what we need to grow our hair into luscious locks. Naughty hair is locked hair. K is also for Not Nation, which is my YouTube channel where you can come by and watch dreadlock reviews of all sorts. L is for love because that's the first word I think about when it comes to my dreads. Um, 
and yeah because i love them so much and because they brought so much love into my life since i've got them so yeah love m is a messy because dreads are messy memories because all your dead hair that contains your past stay in the dreadlock like much as like elias made N is for natural because I love that my hair is in a completely natural state where I can just wake up every day and I don't have to worry about brushing it or styling it or anything. Organic. My dreadlocks grow and evolve without the aid of using chemicals and they are 100% organic. He is for powerful because that's how I felt ever since I started my dread journey. Quirky, adjective, characterized by peculiar or unexpected traits. <laughs> Everyone needs a way to express themselves, and a lot of people uh, like struggle with expressing themselves. But lo and behold, dreadlocks exist, and it is a very good way to express yourself. I'm an artist, and I've got loads of my paintings up on the wall there. Um, I find my dreadlocks are just an art piece on my head. Rebellion. And that is because I believe that modern Western culture and society has moulded human beings into materialistic, unnatural versions of themselves, which is far removed from how nature intended us to be. And dreads are an ancient and natural hairstyle um, one which we've worn for thousands of years and it happens to all hair naturally. So rebellion because I'm rebelling against modern culture I guess and I'm just rebellious by nature. This is for shock because uh, people are usually shocked when they see me and uh, not me actually <laughs> when they see the length of my dreads but that shock very soon changes into a smile because uh, these people come and ask me questions about my dreads and I more often than not uh, crack a few jokes with them and so I get a chance to talk with random strangers just because of my dreads. Normally people won't come and talk to me, right? I mean nobody just come and say, hey, hi, nice shirt, nice shoes. Nobody cares. But with the dreads, people somehow feel the curiosity to come and ask a random stranger, how long have you had your dreads or, or uh, why have you kept your dreads? Are they real? Are they real as the most? And a lot of other shitty questions as you guys know. So uh, I get to talk to random strangers and that shock eventually changes into a smile uh, because of the jokes that I crack. So yeah, my dreads help me to uh, talk to a lot of new people and entertain them, which is kind of what I like doing. So yeah. So I chose to change my long swear hair with Dulux uh, to look wild at all times. The French world is uh, sauvage. I love having all this little world that goes in all directions above my head and it changes so every day so uh, I feel like a little wilder and uh, free like that. So it is why I feel so D is for time saving. I literally wake up and open my eyes and I'm ready for the day. I don't have to faff around and do anything with my hair, not even brush it. Obviously at first it takes a bit of time to get used to and you have to maintain it every week or so. But I've had mine for five and a half years and the last time I touched it was like a year and a half ago. So as long as you're happy to let it do what it wants, then you're cool. <laughs> Unique being that everyone is unique in their own way and everyone has got their own style and dreadlocks come in different shapes, size and textures and my own way of using it is unique. Unique being the fact that my fashion statement is quite easy for me, it's just an updo in a bun and I can do that quite easy like one, two, three, and I'm good to go. That's me. That's it. Be like a voice. Like the voice in your heart that told you to get dreads in the first place. Wild, because I think you have to be slightly wild to have them. And 
and they have a mind of their own and they do their own thing and they're just a bit wild, aren't they? Wild, because I really think that it shows the wild in all of us. Whether you have a couple or you decide to go for the whole thing, kind of shows your, your wild character. You don't want to do X? No, you do, you do X. No one wants X. No one wants X. X are for extensions by Dreads UK. Why we are making this video. COVID-19 has brought so many difficulties to so many people, not to mention increased division. But at a time like this, it's so important to pull together. We believe that in our dreadlock community, we are so diverse that we can demonstrate how people can have different opinions and still pull together and get along. Zen, because there's a meditative journey behind each part of your story when you have dreadlocks. You give them a lot of care and patience and love. I hope you enjoyed that video and found it entertaining. Remember, like and subscribe. But on a more serious note, uh, COVID is a horrible, horrible thing. Uh, whatever you believe and just community is important. So stay connected, talk to people, don't be alone.